we thank God for what is happening in Rwanda and the region. The region, I mean, in Rwanda, Uganda, Kenya, Congo DRC, Tanzania, this East Africa. And um, so in Rwanda specifically, we have um, planting a church has some challenges. Uh, first of all, we need men who are trained because we, we don't plant any kind of church. We want to plant a Christ-exalting, Bible-believing, Bible-preaching church. So the training is very key, uh, preparing, assessing, recruitment, getting the right guys. That's, um, we have so many people that are called that we have assessed, that we have, um, have gone through our assessment and are uh, being trained and we thank God for the Miller uh, partnership. But what, among the challenges we have is before you plant a church, you have to have a physical space which wasn't a problem before. You would plant a church under, literally under a tree and then wait for it to grow. But now you must have a space, you must have a building that will be inspected before you come to begin uh, the church. So that's one of the challenges in planting a, a church in, in Rwanda. It's because it is perceived like you have resources before you get the church plant, where else we used to plant under a tree and then you can take whatever time whether it's 10 years or five years like trying to get a space for the church so that's one of the challenges so one of the things we are doing is we uh, hope uh, working with our with our partners to get lands in strategic locations in, in Rwanda that have been identified where we have our core groups uh, that are being formed and then together with um, our core group and our partners we try to get um, resources that the church needs to be able to plant. So we have already started planting churches like at Harvest Maoko here it's like a mother church planting other it's a church planting other churches. So that's why we also through uh, Pastor John, Pastor Steve and the Great Commission Harvest now today we have like Miller College also helping us to to train pastors and upcoming evangelists, uh, women ministry leader, children ministry leaders who also will be helping in that process you know so and again in our philosophy uh, we start by just training the truly uh, Christ-like leaders because they are the one to go out there and plant those churches so we'll not just plant church for planting church we just we don't need numbers we need churches which are truly existing to fulfill the Great Commission not just having numbers or having many ch churches in Rwanda, Congo, Uganda, or East Africa. So this is why we are just doing our best together with our partners to come out with uh, truly existing churches which glorify God. Having Miller College here in Rwanda is a blessing unto us because Miller College has come as a solution to train us and equip us in the Word of God so the training is very important for my growth in the Word of God. Just to be confident, to be bold uh, of uh, the Word while sharing with others and while also involved in discipleship. Because we are in this for a long, long run, so what we needed is a structure that allows us to train the men for the ministry and also for uh, the work of God. And so we have men that are called, that have the call, that are passionate, but that have not gotten a chance to get um, seminary training. And then they, also the government has a vision and has put on um, law that uh, the leaders of the churches should be trained. The partnership with, with the Miller College of the Bible came as an answer to our church planting, church um, revitalization and church growth initiative because we get a chance to train our church planters and existing church pastors and ministry leaders. They both get the training that they need in theology and the Bible, but at the same time learn our DNA in church planting and church revitalization. So it is um, 
part and parcel of what we are doing as Harvest Bible Fellowship in partnership with our partners like Living Hope Church and GCC to be able to train men uh, for the work of ministry, specifically church planting and church growth. And so this came as an answer to so many years of prayer. And we're asking our partners to join in supporting, making enabling the men to be able to attend because it costs it costs to be able to train the leaders and the church planters we need to deepen our understanding of the bible so that our pastors also will be not just preaching to accumulate many members but also to transform those members into jesus christ disciples who can make other disciples even be able to take the gospel back to the west where some christianity is in the decline decline thank you